Hello to everyone. In this video, I am going to explain you how to do the circular convolution of a two signal on a MATLAB. So first of all, we will create a one script. Go to new script. A script will be created. CLC. Clear all. Close all. This is basically used to clear the command window. Now we will take a one input signal XN. Let's take the value of this input signal as one. 2, 1 and 1, we have taken the discrete values, hn, a second signal, having value 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1. Now we will find the length of the signal xn and hn, l1 is the length of xn, length xn, the length of L xn is 4, similarly we, we will find the length of hn, l2 is length hn which will also be 4 here now we will find the maximum length of l1 or l2 in circular convolution the output signal have a length equal to the maximum of the length of input signal xn and hn here we are having the length of xn4 as well as hn4 so we will have a length of 4 in the output signal. Now we will create a one array and initialize the value of that array with zeros. The length of the array will be equal to xx which is the maximum of l1 and l2. y1 zeros 1 comma xx now we are going to display the final convoluted signal on the command window. Displaying elements after circular convolution. Yn equal to C conv Xn which is the first signal Hn which is the second signal and N uh, and xx which is the length of the output signal yn now we are going to run it before running it we will see it save it now we will run it on the command window here you can see the output xn input signal is 1 2 1 1 hn is 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 length 1 is 4 length 2 is also 4 maximum of length 1 and length 2 is 4 initializing the array with zeros we will have yn equal to 0 0 0 0 now after the circulation circular convolution we have output minus 1 1 1 and minus 1 now we will modify the input and check it for the other values suppose we have taken 2 2 as xn and 1 1 minus 1 as hn now the length of xn and hn is different to 1 3 respectively so we will have the length of output signal as the maximum of 2 1 3 that is 3 so here you can see that xn is 2 2 hn is 1 1 minus 1 l1 is 2 l2 is 3 maximum length is 3 we will initialize the array with 0 0 0 and the final output is 0 4 0 we can also plot the same signal on the output window for that we will use the stem command stem yn which is the output signal now we are going to run the program and see the output on the plot window the figure in the figure you can see that the value is 0 4 and 0 Thanks for watching.